What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and this is another episode of Can't Tell Me Nothing. Um, let me see what I'm gonna talk about. Yeah, let's talk about that one. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. Y'all get an unfiltered version of this. Remember that. Ooh, dang. Um, okay. Well, since I'm gonna talk about that one, this one actually goes out to all my college students. And hear me out very thoroughly, because I'm going to try and pick my words as carefully as possible so nobody can say, well, you caused me to do that. And to be honest with you, I didn't cause you to do anything. So, but, you know, just hear me out. Um, this one goes out to all my college students, if I haven't said that. But it's actually been proven that people don't multitask as well as they think they do. And there's actually a study that proves this. It causes the brain to switch back and forth, which causes, you know, more complications in the tasks that you're doing or the mul in the multiple tasks that you're doing than focusing on one single task at hand at a time. And it got me thinking, well, what about when we were in class taking notes? As you know, aside from, you know, us being in college and we got Facebook on and texting and taking notes, but for when you're actually legit trying to pay attention, how effective is taking notes when it comes to your memory or when it comes to the long term, if you get what I'm saying? Because what you're doing is you're trying to pay attention to the teacher, listen, and then write down whatever that person is saying. Isn't that kind of working more than one part of your brain to cause, in a sense, multitasking? So, what I'm asking is, would it be better to just sit and listen to what the teacher has to say? Whereas, taking notes... Now, I'm not saying don't take notes. Or don't just be a bump on a log while you're sitting there. But, at least take, in my opinion, we should take less notes and pay more attention you know and I'm not saying just don't take any notes so I'm not saying that at all because you kind of need to go back and remember what was said in that lecture or that class at that time especially you know if you really are struggling in that class or it's a class that you're generally interested in and it also kind of, you know, it really got me thinking math, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, most most people struggle in math, you know. That's kind of one of the most difficult subjects that, you know, I hear about. In math, mental abuse toward humans, come on now. And not everybody can, ex not every teacher, just because you, just because teachers know math and can do it doesn't mean they should teach it. Because I've had some teachers that just... I remember this one specific time uh, when I was in a summer class, uh, teacher, this girl raised her hand and she goes, well, I don't understand the problem. The teacher worked out the problem, like didn't ask, you know, he didn't do it step by step by step by step. He worked out the problem, looked at the girl and went, okay. And everybody just looked around. It's like, that's definitely not how you teach. But to take notes in math is a little more difficult because, you know, you got to pay attention to what's actually being worked out. You got to pay remember what's being worked out. And then you got to write that down and work it out, too. And then you got to go back and remember all those steps that were being worked out. You get what I'm saying? But I guess, you know, I guess you need the math examples for later, too. But. In a sense, you're multitasking, so is that going to help you remember in the long run? So that's all I'm saying. It's kind of like a theory, but how effective is taking notes in class, really? You know what I'm saying? And that's to all my students out there, myself included. Now, if these videos start going, you know, out there a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? I want somebody to come back and tell me that they at least tried in a certain class not to take notes or take minimum amounts of notes and they still you know at least got a B or better you know what I'm saying because C's really unacceptable and I don't want anybody to 
come at me and go, well, you told me not to take notes in class. One, okay, grow the freak up because I didn't, if I told you to jump off a bridge and you did it, I'm probably going to laugh because nobody forced you to do it. And two, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying taking notes is considered a multitask and how effective is it? So that's just my theory on that. I'm Sean Turnage and I'm signing out.